Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Diggs here, and today's message, keep on living. I'm here at a very dear friend of mine home in Stewart, Florida. It's his oasis. It's where he brings his family every year when the cold weather hits up north. This is his home down here in Stewart, Sailfish Point. And I've never met anyone who knows how to keep on living more than Jimmy Ribellino. And this locker room is dedicated to you, Jimmy, because you're teaching all of us how to just keep living. Let me share my heart and the story of this incredible man. Many, many years ago, I met Jimmy. And uh, the moment I met him, I fell in love with him. He's one of those kind of guys. He has a permanent seat over at Rayo's. Wherever he goes, he is loved, he is adored, because he's one of the most decent human beings, a, a tremendously sharp entrepreneur, incredible father, grandfather, great-grandfather, husband, friend. I can go on and on and on about Jimmy Ribellino. <laughs> And the reason I want to keep going on and on is the title of this message, Just Keep On Living. Jimmy is now 85 years old. And not long ago, we reignited our friendship uh, because of a loss that he had. Lita, his soulmate, his wife, his everything here on earth um, had left. And he had just beaten cancer. It took him two years, over 700 hours of chemotherapy. Against all odds, Jimmy beat it, came back. And when he came back, it was not long after that that his wife would have cancer and would leave. And that was devastating. And I would reconnect with Jimmy not long after that happened. And you could see that Jimmy was lost because these two were inseparable. They woke up every day their entire lives since they've been together for 40 years, blending their families together, but they woke up every day having a couple of glasses of champagne together every single morning for their entire marriage. Anyway, I could go on and on about this man. Today's message, just keep on living. After that, Jimmy found his way, bounced back, decided that he was going to go to Italy where he'd only gone there with her all these years. I went with him. We had an incredible time. He came back and then he had some health issues. And what happens? We're all scared. What does he do? He comes out of it. No big deal. This is what he does. And then not long ago, Jimmy decides after getting a, a heart cath in there in the hospital, he decides he doesn't want to stay in the hospital. So he comes home uh, after being on anesthesia and all of this, takes a it falls flat on his face, okay, in the bathroom. Ambulances are coming, his face is all... Get, the next day, he's in there, he's, when am I going home? Just keep on living. That's all he does. And so he beat that, he came back, and this is what he does. And so, as I stand here, in the home that he has built for children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, I'm honored to know such a man that just really knows how to keep on living. And so wherever you are right now, you're in a health situation, you're in a financial crisis, you're having troubles at home, a marriage, just keep on living, keep getting up. This too shall pass. Put a smile on your face and realize that every moment you've been given breath, that that in itself is a blessing. And I wanna thank you, Jimmy Ribellino. On behalf of everyone who knows you and the people who don't know you, thank you for showing all of us how to just keep on living.